Podcast, aka Bands, man. Support this TV. I'm here with NGYL. Yo. You know, I've been reaching out to this man since 2019, man. You know, I finally was able to get get with him. I'm glad you pulled on. Hell yeah, man. Appreciate you for having me, man. Oh yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people been wanting to know, man. Like, what, what, what you get your name from, bro? Shit, really like. Okay, like the NG part, they're like, then my name for real, like, they my initials, like, a nigga name to be DJ, they're like NG, my initials, like, my teachers calling me NG. But when I got a little older and shit, the YL, like, young legend, like, I was just on so much Turk shit, like, young nigga, though, like, yeah, young yeah. nigga Turk, you feel me? Yeah. So that shit just carried, and it just, yeah. you feel me, fit another name. Yeah. So NG, YL, NG, young legend. Which is dope, man, ain't no comic book name, it ain't no name, it don't oh, make no sense. His name just took you and me. Got a, you got a story, got a reason, got mm-hmm. a message. You know them best names, man. Story tell itself, for real. Oh, yeah, man. How old are you, little bro? Shit, I'm 24. I turned 24 last October. Thank you. 97, baby. Yeah. What, what, on what date was your birthday in October? Hey, young. Yeah. What date was in October? 19. 19. I'm mm-hmm. 24, bro. For real? Yeah, man. Where the hell you is with that Scorpio? shit? See, I'm a believer. Yeah, about uh, the first day you spoke your Oh, yeah. First day. Yeah, first day. I don't yeah. be getting into that shit anymore. Believe, believe. My girl be on that <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, they be on it hard, though. They think that shit, yeah, the Bible. The women be on it hard, bro. Yo, man, um, how long you been rapping, man? Shit, really, like, I always been fucking around with it, just like, it was like a kid, like, just, yeah. just fucking around with it, like, yeah. just, oh, I know how to rap. I like to rap, because my daddy used to rap, for real gotcha, type shit. Gotcha. So I grew up around music and I really know music. Like, yeah. I, ain't, I ain't saying like, oh, I know music, like I'm gonna sit down. Nah, I'm talking about like, I know the culture. Gotcha. I know about more shit than motherfucker my age know. Yeah. Like I know about shit, cause my daddy put me on it. Gotcha. So I got the my, I got music from the 90s and the 80s, yeah. too, in my head, or shit I like from that period too. Yeah. So I've been always like just doing a little rapping and shit like that, but I really started rapping for real, for real. like. In school, I had did a couple of shit. That shit got me put out of school, matter of fact. <laughs> but like, nigga was fucking around at my home, but I had rap. So we were just fucking with him. Like, he'd be like, you know what I'm saying? Just fucking around, and my shit was hard. But then I stopped again. So, really, like, for me, my first video was Torch. That was my yeah. first video. Oh. Yeah, so it was like, that's really when I started rapping for real. Me. Damn. Don't I consider myself a rapper. So, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? I really ain't. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you'll play with it, and you're like, okay, I'm serious now. Yeah, but it wasn't even like that. I might, I was rapping for fun, like on yeah. some on board shit. Oh, I'm trying to go to the yo, like that was some shit you. to do, like for fun. Yeah. Like we might get hit, go to the yo on yeah. uh, Friday or some shit, listen to yeah. that shit, just bullshit around. So if I was riding in the car with you, besides your music playing, who else would I hear in your car? You gotta hear some Nuda, some Thug, okay. you gotta hear some Vert, yeah. you gotta hear Goddamn. I really don't be fucking with that guy. You a hell with my my partner's tight and shit. Oh yeah, my boy Young Sin right now I'm playing by Young Sin. Like, hey, he turned he a new young nigga. He turned, yeah, yeah. He hard. Sorry, man. That's alright. Yeah, man. I listen to guys too, man. You know, um, what's your So crazy, I was just really going crazy for real. Like, I was just crazy, like, I just felt bad. But I feel like I felt because my daddy died like a week oh. after this shit. Yeah. So I felt like the yeah. universe was yeah. telling me before it was finna gotcha. happen. Yeah. So I was just down, like, just down, bro. Like, I had got to a point, like, down, like, 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 really just down. Not even down, because I'm just saying that now, because then I'm like, whatever. But mm-hmm. now I know, like, I really down, like, I am not going outside, none gotcha. of that shit, like. Yeah. I just got depressed type shit, yeah. By, yeah. like with the, I feel like that shit, I had to learn shit though, yeah. like, like, cause it was like, it ain't even no money shit, cause I had all the money, and you feel me, whatever, the most money I ever had in my life, but yeah. it was like, it was like my life changed, and I yeah. didn't like it, to the point where it was like, I couldn't go certain places right then, yeah. or this and this going, there was a lot of shit going on, it was just weighing down on me, then that yeah. shit happened. Well, sorry yeah. about loss of your father, man. Hell yeah. He, he was able to see you sign though, right? Hell yeah, hell yeah. He died two years ago. He died in yeah. 2020. Oh, okay. Well, that's 
Yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah. real good, yeah. yeah. Only thing you'd be like, damn, he ain't gonna see the rest of that shit, though. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't really fuck, fuck with it, yeah. fuck with me yeah. type shit. Like, he, yeah, he yeah. died and shit, yeah. but it was like that. Like, damn, he ain't gonna get to see that shit, yeah. and he deserved to see it, but it's good, you feel me? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um... Then you got the off-white song, like, you know, more song on Spotify, man. How that song come about? Shit, with my boy Vert got down, just kicking shit. We got down, started kicking it and shit, hanging together, hanging with these folks. He hang with my folk, get a little bun. And we were just down there, like, living together, like, six, seven months. So we will just be in the yo, just fucking off. So that was just, like, one of them days, like, oh, we were just in there kicking. You know, like, I'm working on my tape and shit. Yeah. Cause he gonna EP my next project. Like there's a lot of shit going. Y'all exclusive with that. Yeah. Next project exactly produced by my boy. But nigga working on that and shit. Then he get on that motherfucker like let go. You feel yeah. me? We did a couple of them shits that night. We did probably like four, five songs that day. We did all white. That's dope, man. Cause I'm pretty sure they signed good. Cause all white, man. Y'all come and each other so well. Mm -hmm. Y'all fun was straight on that man. Yeah, seemed like. It was, it sounded good. Some, some features sound poor. Some features sound like... Yeah, because it don't be no real shit. It'd be like, know. you yeah. call me and you call whoever else and just put them on the song together. Like, yeah. It was good like that because we got a real relationship. Nigga kicking shit. Shit going to be like that. Yeah. It like that my home, but for, I don't even look at them like that. Gotcha. You know what I mean? And that's cool, man, because, you know, the Uzi, man, he got a huge fan base, man. So mm -hmm. I think it's dope, man, when y'all was able to connect with each other. Yeah. I can't wait to hear what y'all got coming. Yeah, that shit gonna be so crazy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, um, when you sign your record deal, bro? Shit, like February 2018, for real. Sure. You know, you signed the 300, man. The first time I heard of 300, first thing I thought about was, was the movie 300. Yeah, it's crazy, because I was like, they got their logo on the logo. <laughs> yeah. I be thinking about it when I hear that. Now, I knew what yeah. it was, though, but nigga, when I, when I be saying I signed 300, they be thinking to my Chief Keith. I was like, hell no. Nah. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, like a lot of people like, oh, you signed a... Oh, 300 uh, bank cheap keep the yeah, yeah. hell no see a lot, a lot a lot of people don't pay attention to the labels unless a rapper screaming it mm -hmm. but, you know and, and 300 was just one of those labels man. 300 the indie label for real too though oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't that ain't no you know what i'm saying yeah. they just they big and stats with that but they got they just got bought out by Warner, you feel me? So yeah. it's like they ain't no they ain't like Atlantic because now they that's an indie label type exactly. shit. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, I think like um, I think the first person I heard on was Fetty Wap. Then yeah. I knew Migos was there for a little while. Yeah, it was though. You know, um, and um, you told me that you liked it because Thug was there because mm -hmm. you know he's a boy. Yeah, yeah, my idol. Yeah, yeah, idol. Um, Megan Thee Stallion. You know, they got quite a few people over there, man. Three hundred doing anything. Yeah. You know, so it, it's good to see see you with a legend like Kevin Lyles. Hey, a lot of culture with my boy Kev, man. Yeah. Def Jam yeah. shouted him. I started this shit yeah. down there. Yeah. Yeah. with him. You feel me? Yeah. That's why I was like that too, because it was like, you got the coach, you got black CEO, you feel me? My whole yeah. team, like, now, nah, like, marketing directors, publishers, all that straight black women. So it's like, it's yeah. more, I felt, okay, I can talk to these folks, I can play around with this, so they don't feel like I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel yeah. like I'm just in a whole nother world where it's like, yeah. this shit weird. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You can have fun. Yeah, looking for comfort, Bill Allison. That's a word. <laughs> man, it's a word now. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, make your own language up. Yeah, man. Um, um, Okay, so what's what's the name of your next project? Uh, right now it's set Tillion, but I gotta goddamn make sure that I'm gonna go with it. Cause a lot like I fuck with a fan for it, but like the label push, like they like it's kind of a hard name. But I'm like fuck it, you feel me? Yeah. So right now it's set Tillion, you know, like rip Tillion, but set Tillion. Okay, Thanks. okay, okay. And you said it's gonna come out whenever it's ready, whenever the right whenever time. Whenever the gang, whenever the op is seen, they yeah. shooting, they shooting the album out. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Right now, man, you got Glock 19 tearing up, you know, the internet right now, man. What's yeah. going on with that? Shit, Glock 19, that was one of them songs, like, I done figured out, like, the cadence of, like, to me, that's festival music. So yeah. it's, like, performance. Like, I really, now I know when I perform, it's going to go crazy, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. So it was, like, with Glock 19, just simple. I did a song, Sell Me, because I know the one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Glock 19. 
with a with a bing. You feel me? Like yeah. it's, it's just catchy. And niggas gonna they gonna go with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Them the easiest songs to me. But to me, yeah. like if it, it be crazy, I probably got a lot of songs that probably could have went been went up and put me all the way up there. Yeah. But it's like. I don't be fucking to me. All my songs are just songs. I don't. I can't really go through and pick them out myself no more. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so because it's like you know what I'm saying. I yeah. need. I need other people to listen to them and tell me about them. Right. Okay. Because yeah. I be thinking the shit I think hard. They say wet, and the shit I think wet be a hit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Every time, bro. Yeah, really? like that. Torches like this. I oh, hate it. Torch. I like yeah. shit wet. You feel yeah. me? And they and love more. it. That's the one. They got me signed. You feel me? Well, that's dope, well, that's dope, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Um, you said, tell me again, man, how, how did they sign you? How did they contact you? Shit, through an email, goddamn. I thought it was fake when I seen this yeah. shit, for real, but goddamn, got calling, talking, and they flew me up out there. But I had to go get a pass for my PO to go up there, because I was goddamn going through my little league and shit. And that was really influenced me to sign this shit even more, too, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Everybody going down the road, shit was looking ugly. I was, Beef my this shit, that shit had, it felt like I was waiting on my death date. Like, yeah. when guy felt like I was going to my own funeral. Yeah. Like, that shit was sad as fuck. Yeah. Like, I'm sad as hell with yeah. my girl. I'm playing prison songs, all that type of shit. I'm, in my head, I'm gone. You feel yeah. me? Like, yeah. it's over. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Wait, but they kind of saved the day for it. Which is dope, man. It was like it in the tunnel. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And how was it when you got up there, bro? Shit, this is cool shit, like, I can compare it to, like, a college visit, for real. You pull up, take you out to eat, all that type. Take you out to eat, take you to rap, see what you on, then you go play music and shit. But they really ain't even, they ain't offering me the, right there and there, because I was beating, because another label tried to do some swindle shit on the side, and had talked to me out there, but I'm like, y'all gonna have to fly me back out here, but I still pushed up over there and talked to them, but... They were so ready, they gave me the contract right there. Yeah. So I'm already knowing this, so I'm like, I'm not even standing there, because I'm like, they doing that, the folks that flew me out, they finna be turned. Yeah. I played my shit, they got up, they like, shit, we'll see you a couple days then. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm on probation, so I'm yeah. like, nigga, ain't no call me, nigga, I gotta plan this shit, I ain't this shit approved out type shit. So I'm really yeah. feeling sad as fuck on the plan, yeah. but, but a couple days ago, but, and I got this deal already. The other people yeah. I done gave me the deal, what is what they gonna you feel me? Yeah. So I got so I'm like, damn, I'm finna have a sign with these folks. Yeah. But it ain't go like that. A couple days later, get a get a phone call from New York, Kevin Lyles on the phone, and then I could play the whole, oh they gave me this, so I want this game. So he was like, I'm gonna show you how much money I got. I'm gonna give you that plus thirty more. So I'm like, yeah. bet and I wanted to sign with them anyway, like before I even heard any numbers, yeah. anything I'm like I'm signing three hundred, you feel me? Yeah. It was just what I wanted to do. They were told. And you know, most artists, man, when they when they do their homework on a label or got their idol or somebody signed to a label, usually you want to you want to be with the label that you mm -hmm. that your heart telling you to be with. Yeah. Somebody else can be offering you more. Yeah. Like, nah, this is what my heart is. At. So it was like they offered the most, and I want to go to the end of them way. Yeah. So it wasn't even no no yeah. thinking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kevin Lyles, like, Kevin Lyles put a bag out there. Yeah, Kevin Lyles said, I'm going to show you what, what I, how much yeah. that's worth to me. No, that's what he said. I'm going to show you how much $30,000 worth to me. Yeah. I'm going to give you this more. You feel me? Damn, bro. Like real shit. And fuck with him for that for like this. Oh, yeah. And yo, man, um, I remember on Instagram, you was telling people to start hitting your boss man up, man. Yo, yeah, man. Y'all in the comment, tell you I want to hit that shit. Man, I ain't going to hit it. Why yeah, man? That's it, man. <laughs> Calm down. Folks, I... I mean, yeah. folks are like, oh, man, he got a deal. Yeah, like, I see everybody come, man, quick. Don't you know, I make the city look bad? Like, we broke or something, man. Sit the fuck down. Every rap in the state was reaching out to Kevin. Uh, I was like, man, I got triangle case, I know he ain't looking at them shit. That's what I'm telling them. Y'all yeah. doing shit for nothing. Yeah. Y'all, I'm seeing y'all do corny shit. You yeah. feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't even gonna see it. Yeah, yeah. But, that's a busy man. He got time for that stuff. I'm good. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So man, um, um, I heard, I heard, and, um, I can't tell you what song it is, and I apologize. But I remember you said in one of your songs, your goal is to put your mom in a in a big house, a two million dollar house, or something like that. Why I said that, man? Firefly. What about my man? I don't know, I remember saying that, but I can't, I can't name yeah. the song. My damn self. I put it on Spotify, and I just, I just played it. Two, man, I just played song after song. 
I think her eye has to do it. I got so many songs. Yeah, I know yeah. I said it for a fact though, but hell yeah, little goalie take care of my dudes, man. Oh yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Every 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 young man dream is to mm -hmm. find a house for their mother, you know. Real provider shit, nigga. We want to be on it for real, like all the way. You know what I'm yeah. saying? To yeah. the point where they ain't they can't ask you for. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Oh yeah, man. And, um, I said it before, but uh, I seen you on the um, lyrical lemonade festival, man. Like you was having a good time, man. Hey, yeah, uh, I love, love the festivals, man. Shout out to the Lemonade, because it be more like, like with the way I'm going, mm -hmm. I'm trying to go that route, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the most, that's, other than like the club, cool, I fuck the club, but I ain't trying to be no in the club ass rapper, because there's yeah. more, it, more shit can happen like that, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. You might get into it, you might pull up for a show, leave with a murder case, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Leave with a gun case, leave yeah. with a assault case, you yeah. feel me? Some yeah. stupid shit. Yeah. With that, you ain't gotta worry about that. And it's a whole different mindset of performing it. Where I'm trying to go, I'm popping out to them straight. Oh, I need, I might come out the gate, shit, go how I wanna go. I need a hundred for a show. Mm -hmm. And no club giving to the end of it. You gotta be yeah. top dog to get it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the club setting. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's funny you say that, man. I've seen Boosie say that in an interview about the dangers of doing clubs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Of course, you wanna do the clubs because you got. Yeah, yeah, that's your people's. It's your people. That's where you from. Exactly, but you know, you got some people that just start something. Mm -hmm. Everybody ain't there to have fun, but then you go to a festival, everybody there to have fun. Everybody there coming to fuck their shoes up. They want you to throw water on them, jump in the crowd. I saw it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I seen a nigga throwing water in the club, man. That shit going, because if I'd been in the club still in the crowd doing it, but they should have made me get on the nigga ass, but I came with fresh air outfit, see the hoes and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nigga done threw water, this ain't no damn rolling loud. You feel me? Like, that's how I know, motherfucker, man. That shit gonna be over then, like, mm -hmm. even with, like, COVID and shit, yeah. it's easier to get a festival, I feel like, than certain clothes packed out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because even yeah. if you can, who really want to, you know how black people is. Yeah. I ain't might go out there and catch the COVID. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Black people get scared of shit, it's over with. Oh, yeah. Oh, the urban crowd, they out that motherfucker with COVID. They don't give a damn, you, you feel me? Yeah. They paying to see it. They spending mom and daddy mom to come see you, you feel me? Yeah, It's exactly. a different type of want to see you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how, how, how is it um, coming out of Spartanburg, man? Shit, be like regular shit, like, just regular. Like, for me, it was regular. Like, that shit go up out there, but it's like, when you from there, it don't feel like that. It just feel like... Regular life, like you gonna grow up, be a little kid, play football, you get about 13, 14, you get the fucking out of fighting niggas and shit. Yeah. Then you gradually keep graduating until now you're full in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it be like any yeah. other goddamn place yeah. like that. You know, I had, I had status earlier, but uh, you know, we were, um, I grew up in Greenville, man, and for, the old, for people who don't know this upstate, you know, um, in Greenville, man, we live at Spartanburg and Anderson. As the rough spots, like, man. That's all we saw in the Spartanburg. Yeah, yeah. I know folks they didn't, didn't want to go to Spartanburg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were trying to get the hell out of Spartanburg. But now the crazy though, because we heard about Anderson. They used to call shit Los Anderson. But yeah. the weed, like, now I know about the Ville. But back then, nigga, we thought the Ville was like a resort. We thought it was Haywood Mall. Like, motherfuckers getting money to move to Greenville. Like, yeah. that's the golden place. Like, you yeah. make Greenville. Yeah. But as soon as I got, as soon as I signed, yeah. I moved to Greenville. That's how you know. You feel okay, me? Man. Yeah. As soon as I got signed, I moved to Greenville. Yeah. Off gate. I'm moving to the field. I made it. You know what I'm saying? Dumb shit. That's yeah. a spumberry nigga mind. You feel me? Motherfucker go to Charlotte or Greenville. The A, you go to the A, that's like you moved to Africa. You feel exactly, me? Exactly. Motherfucker go, oh, you feel yeah. me? That shit is fucked up. That's but bad. That, that, that same mind frame with folks in Atlanta, folks that's close to Atlanta, they move straight to Atlanta. Yeah. They make it move straight mm -hmm. to Atlanta. You know, they move to the nearest big city. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Um, it, 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 Fuck it, it, the field, though. Oh yeah, man. I, you know I love it out here, man. I ain't never had no trouble like nothing like that. Like niggas, yeah. man, I ain't never had like no nigga try me and no yeah. guy. Cause I be, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. I still be me, even regardless. So yeah. like, motherfucker might be that. Oh yo, that's that rapper dude. Ooh, ooh, you mm -hmm. might see me at the gas station at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. chilling like I'm regular. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. Regular, bro. Exactly. Feel exactly. Eventually, eventually you gonna reach a point, man. You gonna yeah, I can't dollars. do that, though. Man, 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 they gonna bum rush you. Nah, motherfuckers speaking out it, but I ain't had no nigga try me up here, like, yeah. type shit, like, yeah. period. Like, it be I'm, all love in the video. I don't think nobody gonna try you. I don't think they gonna bum rush you when you ain't gonna be able to do that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get a picture, bro. Let me nah, know, I ain't done been since from, like, I had to quit going to Haywood Mall. Girl. Yeah, yeah, I had to quit going to, like, even now I go to... Look like I'm on the run. I got a ski mask, hooded yeah, shades yeah. on, ain't trying to talk. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. 
That how this shit be. Hey, you right there, man. I love it though. It be good. Like I never like yeah. I can say I never turn a fan away at all. Never. That's dope, man. Yeah, yeah. That mean a whole lot, man. Cause mm -hmm. I know how it feel. Exactly, you know what I'm saying, love you, but that'll tattoo you, mm -hmm. they'll help, man, they'll buy everything They the reason now. that you rich, yep. if you get rich after this shit, they the yep. reason, you know what I'm saying, you gotta show love to them. You're right, you're right. I'm glad you feel that way, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, um, also, um, like what I'm about to say, um, okay, um, who, 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 do you have any, um, Rap influences locally when you were coming up? Um, nah, not locally. I really ain't. My dad, okay. I really ain't even. I listen to, because you got a man like when you were a little kid, you listen to whatever your parents listen to exactly. or, or what's on the radio. Exactly. So I wouldn't even think. It ain't even like I knew about them and then listen to them. Like, I wouldn't even help to that. Gotcha. I'm thinking, when I'm a kid, I'm thinking rappers was born rappers type. Yeah. You know how that shit be when you were a kid? Yeah. You don't yeah. understand the real yeah. world. You like, this TV and this is my life. You feel exactly. me? Yeah. Yeah. So your nickname is that, is it your nickname Big Bad Legend? Shit, that was one, I got a lot of aliases. Yeah, that was yeah, a, yeah, yeah. I put like the Big Bad Legend, that was like me at 18, 19, yeah, that was yeah, me, yeah, I'm just yeah, P. Yeah, Diddy, you yeah. feel me? I'm thinking I'm P. Goddamn Diddy, you feel me? I remember when you got your, your well I don't say I remember when you got, I remember when you posted on IG, and you said you said Big Bad Legend or something, or yeah. something you said with or something. Oh hell yeah, yeah Bad Big, yeah, 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 but it was just like, this a look, like, so like me now, mm -hmm. that's like an error. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like I go like, okay, that was Big Bad Era. That was NG, that was Big Bad Era. Okay, yeah. that was NG, era. Yeah. Then, oh, that's Rifle, Nigel Era. Okay, Nigel. now we in King Lizard Era. You feel Nigel. me? Okay. So it just, I recreate myself crazy, yeah. for real. Feel me? Ready to throw it off a little bit. Bro, bro, I ain't really helped to a lot of stuff these days. What SS stand for? It says that's just the family and shit, like the little team and shit like that, man. Okay, so that's like your movement. Yo, hell yeah, that's our movement for real. Gotcha. Like, goddamn, this our family and shit. Gotcha, gotcha. Facts, flavor, rap. How many, how many, how many young rappers you got in your team? Shit, that I say really, really rap, because a lot of niggas wanna play around, like they good, but they be playing. Yeah, but like, yeah. real rappers though, mm -hmm. we got Slime, mm -hmm. we got Bills. Yeah. Bills got damn family, but Bill got his own shit going too though, so gotcha. I ain't even gonna say it like that, but Bills too though, he always, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it got them, yeah, about them three for real, for real, who really rapping. Yeah. And you got a couple guys, oh yeah, shout out my little bro, 5X, he doing his little shit. He gonna be the next, gotcha. the next one come out. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? He hard. Yeah. He like that. Sorry, man, sorry. Because, man, uh, every, everything, like, man, do, do, um, I think a lot of times, man, um, and I don't know if your team feel like this, but when I look at teams, especially like you and a lot of other artists that come up, I think, you 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 are you the pinnacle, you the one. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, if I'm with you, and I'm your homeboy, or I'm your artist or whatever, I'm also security too. I'm also, I'm not a liability. Mm -hmm. I'm also security too. Uh, if I need to go pick up something from the store from you, I'm an assistant too. Right. You know what I'm saying? See, um, my shit ain't like that. Yeah. But I don't know, I can't really speak because I ain't got to that level why this is a necessity yet. Gotcha. But like right now, you see, like I move around regularly, yeah, you yeah, feel me? Yeah. I don't need, like, I done got older, so I done got a lot more mature and shit. Like, gotcha. yeah, before, I'm on straight there, but like now, nah, but I be, I be not like that because I be seeing niggas say that this is bullshit happen to them. Gotcha. But I can move around without nobody for real gotcha. right now unless it's like some show shit or whoop whoop like every gotcha. day i don't gotta have no nigga babysitting me every day right now you feel me okay, okay. but like even that like i probably wouldn't even do that because first i don't want to disrespect them like that and i don't want them to piss me off from not doing your job you know what yeah, i'm saying exactly. yeah, i'd rather yeah. go tell a person that i got to do that whatever i want to fucking tell them yeah. and let instead of Sugar cone shit, cause you my boy, you feel me? Yeah. I look at everybody equal, like not even about no money, no position, just gotcha. equal as a man, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, if I wanna ask this man to do that, I'm definitely not gonna ask this man to do this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you real. a man, bro, you yeah. feel me? And let's do you look at everybody equal. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and thing I'm getting to, man, I see a lot of artists, man, they get in trouble. And then, and me being a blogger, I read it. And they say, oh, four or five people in the car. She just got arrested. I'm like, why the main order get arrested? Yeah, yeah. Oh God. See that shit like that. That's yeah. that. See, but they go back to their family mode. Cause like yeah. when I say family, you know what I'm mm -hmm. talking about. Like the family on some shit. Like we already moving, moving, moving in a way. Period. Before rap. So it's like 
we basically moving like that with rap, but we trying to clean it up even more so it's gotcha. more clean, more professional, more just feel me, yeah. just eliminate bullshit. Cause gotcha. it's a lot of situations like I'd be glad that I ain't had everybody there because it would have went a whole nother way. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm really the one to calm shit down. I'm I'm the one that let it know when yo I'm on bullshit, but cause we can't do this right here like this right now, cause this yeah. shit ain't worth it or cause them yeah. niggas ain't on that, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So it'd be like a lot of situations, it probably better that I went 30 deep because it would have went left. You know what I'm saying? Quick. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it is right and mm -hmm. not have so many people. Niggas real overprotective type yeah, shit and yeah. niggas ready to just prove well, it. You know how well, niggas be, well, they yeah. ready to show you they better ride about this shit. You, yeah. you don't gotta show me nothing. I don't want nobody to die for me. Live for me, goddamn. Smart, you know, niggas smart. love that. I die for you. Yeah. Don't die for nothing. Yo, yeah, that trip me. Oh, I need to live. You talking about dying. But you were, you were, you was real mature, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've right? been through a lot of shit. Yeah. I learned a lot of shit. A lot of people leave these jokes with a straight man. They'll, they'll lead them into some crazy mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Crash them out. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So when you got signed, man, who, who was your first major purchase? Shit. I bought a spot for real. I really had everything, I guess. I bought a spot in the chain. It was it. I bought one chain. I had chains already before I signed and gotcha. the rollers and shit. So. I just bought a chain and got down, I got a new spot. Yeah. That was it. And as clothes and shit. Which is dope, man. You you would get a new spot. You would you would be, be at the top of the list. Yeah, hey, yeah, that was the first thing, cause nigga, I'm goddamn <laughs> I'm slip when I had my when I signed my daddy, I'm sleeping on the blow up, like real yeah, life, yeah, like yeah. not fucked up, but yeah. I'm just trapped out, you feel yeah. me? Like I'm staying with a J. Yeah. Uh, I done, I majority, you feel me? Like, yeah. I really ain't got, I don't be at home, you feel yeah. me? I just yeah. be here, goddamn. But, like, I really live one of them type lives for gotcha. real. Like, just in the streets, like, really in the street. Like, yeah. ain't no telling where I'm gonna be at, you yeah. feel me? Of course, you got your site, do I do this at, do I come home, sleep at, woo gotcha. woo, but I might not go there for two, three weeks. I might be sleeping here, I got bad spots for real. Yeah. So, it was like, when I got there, it really made me calm down too long. Like, I can't be walking around all this goddamn money. I'm already walking oh, yeah. before to be, I'm walking around 40,000, 50,000 yeah. on me and shit. Ain't no yeah. way I'm finna be walking around with all this shit. So, yeah. I had to get smart. Then I had really got, like, my girl yeah. really put me down with it, like, yeah. when you finna grow up, basically. You feel me? Like, ain't gonna be no more stay with your home, but 10 niggas and all that. Like, really get on some yeah. man, grown up shit. You feel yeah. me? That's when I started. I ain't gonna say that because I'm still growing now. But that's when I really got on some. I'm grown now. You gotcha. feel me? Yeah. Like, I got a responsibility now. Yeah. That shit was down there like I had a baby. Gotcha. I don't got no kids. Yeah. That's good, man. That's good. Now I say, like, I really got it ease. I ain't got to do shit but get this shit figured out and after that, bro. I can live my life. Because that's how I. That's how I look like right now, I still ain't live my life. 24 years, I ain't live my life. I'm trying to get money. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So when you find, when money don't become a thing no more, mm -hmm. for real, it's coming so fluent like these. Mm -hmm. Been to me, nigga, 10 million, I'm straight. I know I ain't gonna fuck that up. I'm smart, you feel yeah, yeah, So yeah. shit like that, like, even that, like, get to knowing that I'm gonna get that, like, for mm -hmm. sure, or get that first million, like, I'd probably be a whole different type of nigga. Like, not even no, no, oh, no, I'm talking about just like, Whole different like shit I'm doing, shit I'm moving by and all that, like just yeah. growing up, but my dad had showed me that like I really seen a man in my life. Yeah, I had yeah. a man in my life, you yeah. feel me? So I see what the hell is going from a blue collar perspective. So I use the blue collar perspective. Mm -hmm. Ain't that what you call it? Yeah. When like a nigga working the plane exactly, and shit. Yeah. yeah. So goddamn I use that mentality yeah. with this world. So it's like at the end of the day, I'm living regular, but I just gotta add some money. And that was my goal. Not even like living regular, I'm saying like, yeah, we're gonna have all this whatever crazy shit and all that, but I'm saying like, to me, I be trying to downplay my life so it don't feel like I get lost. I get lost in it, lost in Hollywood, damn nigga, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. So to me, I always dumb everything down to myself. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So you told me earlier, man, like your whole team around you, like, kind of your, your marketing, your, your publicist, you say you got all women. Mm-hmm, uh, black women. I think that's dope, man, because sometimes women more easy to deal with than men. Hell yeah, you can't even argue with no woman, no real man ain't finna argue. I can't get mad at no woman, so it's like, with that it save a lot of extra shit, because I be gonna beat one of you, beat some man the ass, beat the ass. Every time I get mad, I'm beat the ass. <laughs> and a lot of times these women, they see stuff we don't see. Yeah, and they let you know from a woman's point of view how shit look, you know what I'm saying? So you need the insight. For real, for real. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're a male performer, man. Hell yeah. Main thing you need is a bunch of women around out 
Like, Yo, them trying to have. They gonna buy you shit. <laughs> they gonna buy it. They gonna That's what's gonna make the guys, yeah, you, know, you feel me? They're gonna make niggas come to the club. Bro, hey man, I seen a, I seen a genuine show this past summer. I seen men running to this guy. I seen men getting in line to take pictures with this guy. Yeah, man. Blew my mind, bro. That like, weird, though, but still. <laughs> it's so crazy, though. You can't even say that weird, because I don't like when people do that either. I've been seeing it, and I used to feel like that, but you can't really say that either, because yeah. they, just like you wouldn't say that to a woman, they, they're not real people to them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had to learn it. Some people not real people to some people. Yeah. Some people look at me like I'm not a real person. You yeah. feel me? He's a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That had to be. So you can't even knock a man for doing that. Yeah, they look, they, look, they look at the person as being greater. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They not thinking, that, oh, this a man. They thinking this is whoever he is. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I be like, I wasn't never like there with no rock niggas because I done been in you know, a lot of people. I done been Travis Scott to come through. You feel me? Like, yeah. been around Brian, been yeah. around a lot of people. And I know, like, genuinely, I'm not on that. You feel me? But the, my, them sports niggas, though, I'm on that. I'm fanning. <laughs> Yo, you feel me? I come in this shit like that, coming in yo, yeah. Lamelo ball in this motherfucker. You feel yeah, me? Like yeah. shit like that. Like I be more hyped to see them than rappers because I like sport. So like yeah. if I see LeBron James, I'm like fan out. Yeah. Oh shit, bro, run them down. You feel me? <laughs> on some crazy shit. Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that football player? Let me say you look like that. Uh, you talking about Jamar Chase? <laughs> <laughs> he look like me. Man, the best funny in here. I fuck with brother, he hard, but they need a shot. They funny. I'm talking about like every time, like I can't go a day without. Like, but well, I thought you was in the league. But it was like Angie White, you feel me? Like they be on it, bro. Hey man, when you put that up, I looked at the comments. I looked at that dude. I said, "What they favorite?" They funny in here. They tell me he gotta be your cousin. They funny though. Shout out, bro. The fans, but they funny, but the they fans, funny. the fans will find something. But that's how you know if they ain't finding the something, they ain't worried about it. They ain't worried about it. So they yeah. got, they got you on their mind. Yeah, that's, that's the way you gotta look at it. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Um, who, who the most famous person you met? Mmm. It it depends. I can say the famous people I met. I don't know who the most famous. Yeah, you got yeah. Vert. I met uh, DeAndre Hopkins, home with him and shit. He's one of my friends, like yeah. close friends type shit. Goddamn, them been around a lot of folks. Them been around the um, Riding Rebel, them. Gotcha. Thor, I done been around Thor, gone with them. Yeah. Uh, them been around a lot of people, you feel me? You be in the mix. So yeah. I really, yeah. it probably like a lot of people I didn't yeah. even think about, but. Yeah. I don't even look at it like that, but I have been around a lot of famous people like just doing features or going like when I was around Thug and I, I was with Lil' Key, you feel me? So okay. he took me to, yeah. to their little party shit, yeah. to the studio with them and shit. So y'all got, got some together. Hey yeah, my boy, Lil' yeah. Key, fuck oh, my boy. Yo yeah, man, um, see me, like meeting you, meeting Moneybag, meeting Blockbuck JB, Rollo went, Rollo, Rollo went meet me. For real? Nah, Rollo wasn't fucking It's crazy because I missed the little Rollo way. Like, I was still a regular street nigga with Rollo. I feel like I had to fuck with Rollo. No, Rollo wasn't fucking with me, man, because uh, he wasn't fucking with me. I did a blog basically saying uh, Rollo when he stopped all that beefing, man, started making music. Yeah, he and took I'm, it with I remember he retweeted it. Yeah. That's all he liked it. I'm finna hear him, yeah. yeah. You got, people said, don't understand it by bloggers and this yeah. shit. You feel me, bro? It's their yeah. job, bro. Yeah, like, 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 real life. Like, I want to hear your music. And then he said, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to see you or something. I said, okay. And, and I'm like, oh, you're going to see me, see me. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm like, man, I ain't trying to be That's there crazy. You. So he, he came out. That's what's crazy about rap. Right? You might be getting into it with a nigga you don't know. Yeah, wouldn't yeah. even know you from from three hours away. Hey, you know the energy was like that. Like, yeah. So he came to the radio station, but he like, man, who, who that? Cause I had to support the TV house. He said, who yeah. that? Nah, he can't get in there, man. For real? Yeah, yeah. He had a bunch of people. Oh, he was on there? Yeah, he like, can't get in there, man. Damn. All my DJ was like, I'm trying to do that. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I'm, I still fuck with him. Yeah, fact. That's cool. It ain't nothing free that Rollo, man. Yeah, free Rollo, man. Wasn't nothing to be serious about, but um. Yeah, you know how that <laughs> shit be, nigga. Just take it up and down. You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, um, but yeah, man. Like I'm not, I'm not quick to take pictures with people, man. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Like if somebody said, oh, you know, man. G -G yeah, that's kind of corny because yeah. you coming as a, you in the world down there, you yeah. in the business of it, so yeah. it's like you can't do that. Yeah, don't be like, man, take a picture with me, dog. Yeah. I don't be on I don't do that. Like a lot of times, like when I first met Vert, like a lot of people like, probably like, why ain't you got them with the I just don't be on it. Like I don't give a fuck. You feel yeah, me? Exactly. Not finna. You feel me? Exactly. That shit lame, but I don't it give is, a fuck. Man. I want you to feel, 
I want it to be mutual. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. So if it ain't mutual, I can't like that. Like, if you don't respect me, I can't respect you. You feel me? Exactly. Type exactly. shit. And you don't want nobody feeling like, man, you, you using this. You're supposed to deserve to be there. So you feel me? You shouldn't even have to do all that. You're supposed to be there. What the hell you recording for? Exactly. They're like, you get money and you record every time you go to the bank. What the hell you keep recording keep for? Recording, you're supposed to do that. You feel me? You're right, you're right. So, man, you, you being from a different generation, what you feel about the Super Bowl halftime show? Um, see, like I told you earlier, like with the nine, like I, I appreciate it because I know how big it was for the see yeah. people looking at it now. Mm -hmm. That's another thing I know how to look at shit for what it is. Like now, people looking at it like, okay, Wood Wood, this is 2022, these niggas from Wood Wood, but you gotta think they fans from that been there with them. Mm -hmm. This the end now. Yo. So, yeah, the us, they some old niggas, but they somebody's favorite rapper. They was yo. somebody's favorite rapper when they was 17. So yo. now, it's like me. You see me from the beginning, you see me from Torch, yo. and then 20 years later, I'm doing a Super Bowl show. That's like a good ending for the book. Like, exactly. this, he fight, he made it to this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he old now, with him, but he done did that. Like, I appreciated it. Like, I understood how big it was for Mary J, Legend. For Snoop, you creeping on Snoop, you feel me? The black yeah, people, you ain't, yeah. you don't get on TV and gang bang and you do all that. Yeah. You at the Super Bowl show, gang banging. Everybody know you gang bang. You Everybody feel me? Gang bang. Like it's like it's just a big thing because it's like black people never get their chance, and it's like we still yeah. seeing shit for the first time. Like even yeah. with black performers and even all that, and you know they usually go pop or something like that. Like exactly. rap is becoming the big. It already on the cane and no one's genre, so it's like yeah. now they can't. Not they can't ignore us or our culture. They gotta yeah. accept this shit. I wanna. It, it's cool when we a fad, but it ain't cool in real life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's gonna make up for that. So now instead of it being a stigma or just or just uh, saying you look away from, it, now they gonna embrace being black, even yeah. the good shit and the black shit. Just yeah. black people. You feel me? Yeah. Get used to it. You're right, man. No, I got a friend. She from Hungary, mm -hmm. and she told me, man, or oh, what up, man? They listen to nothing but hip hop. You know what I'm saying? She's that nut black hip hop. They interested in the culture. Yeah, she's that nut black hip hop. That's how the other braces be doing. They mm -hmm. figure out their culture and they monetize it. Yeah. You feel me? So we got to do it. Think about that. Labels getting paid off motherfuckers beefing. Mm -hmm. And these niggas beefing about some shit for real. Like, yeah. about some block shit or yeah. niggas died or whatever. And it's like, they profiting off your life. So yeah. why not profit off? I just want. That's my biggest thing. Like, I want everybody to, because that's what you're doing. That's what I had to put in my head. You got to profit from your life story. Mm -hmm. If you can find a way to do that, whether it's that, oh, you you was fucked up and your grandma taught you how to cook and you ain't never had no real food, so now you learn how to cook. That's your life. You done turned into being a chef. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just use your life to get money, yeah. whichever way it is. Do you see yourself doing anything other than doing music like acting? Hell yeah, yeah, I don't even want to do this shit for long. Like, I want to be one of them niggas that blow up, like, big, big blow up, though, for mm -hmm. like five years and then disappear. So I'm gonna use all my money to just buy other shit. Like, that's why I say it's still real life for me. I ain't caught up in it. Oh, I'm gonna be this great lit. Like, I might fuck around and be that big, yeah, biggest yeah. rapper ever letting exactly, that you can't, yeah. not say you can't short your dreams, but I'm right. still in the realistic world. Yeah. Maybe it ain't meant for Maybe it's meant for me to get, get in this shit fire, get me a couple 10 million, 20 million, get out this shit, put this shit back in real life, and return to a regular person. Yeah. I'm some comedian now, shit. Yeah. He got this shit in. in Investing in some tech shit and now he's yeah, richer than yeah. every rapper, you yeah, feel me? Yeah, yeah. And but don't nobody give a damn about it, and that's how I be, yeah. that's how I wanna be. Yeah. If I could've fucking milk cows for the money, I would've been somewhere milking cows, you feel yeah. me? It's yeah. really about comf being comfortable with my life, and this is the, this is what it look like I'm gonna do it with. This is yeah. the most likelihood I got of obtaining it, is by this shit, you feel me? Man, you know, like I look at people like Snoop. And yeah, he people, bigger than rap. People 80, 90 years old, no shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to be like that. Like, yeah. but it's, oh, I didn't turn to a host or a damn whatever. As yeah. long as this shit yeah. makes sense and making money. You feel me? Steve Harvey was a damn comedian. Now he on talk show. Yeah, like, he right. damn Oprah. You Every feel night. me? You know, they put, they put. Down for the movie shit out there. Like, I'm real yeah. on that movie so I can That's act. Good. I can That's act good. for real. Yeah. Like, my mom don't used to fuck me on the look. Like, yeah. like, we know you were going to be saying. You never shut the fuck up. You feel me? Well, I'm on a real roll. <laughs> you roll, I'm on a roll like that too. Yo, 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 you need that roll and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, yo, man, it's good if you think about doing that stuff, man, because you never limit yourself, bro. There's so much yeah. other stuff out there. Like, you look at 50 Cent and all the shows he does. You know what I'm saying? You buy water, you sell them water, you put vitamin water, all that. Like, that shit turning and shit, you don't even gotta do that shit no more. Yeah. This game really not no, it's not no old man league. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're right. This shit is wizard.
in fashion right now, everything got a style. Yeah. Unless you just one of the ones with yeah. that case I stay, but other than that, I ain't trying to finna have to try to blow up two times, three times, or yeah. redo all this shit because I want to be this type. Like, I'm doing this shit to take care of my family for real. And I'm having fun while doing it. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, appreciate the music and love doing the music and shit, but I'm doing this shit for my family for real. To take yeah. care of shit, you feel me? So, you talk about sports, was like, who, who your team in sports? Basketball. Basketball, I just like LeBron. You like LeBron? Yeah, I'm a real mean, LeBron fan. Yeah. Yeah, they're the first person I seen. Came yeah. in Lee 03 at that time only. Six years old. My yeah. first pair, my first jersey was LeBron James jersey. Dang. First pair yeah. of shoes, like, okay, I'm picking LeBron's. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I'm yeah. really like a LeBron baby. Yeah. You feel yeah. like, yeah. growed up the whole life. Yeah. So that's why when I started seeing the win, yeah. he won the championship. Like, it felt like I was doing this shit. Like, I've really been there since yeah. day one. I'm putting it out. Have you, have you seen LeBron yet? Uh uh, I ain't never seen I'm putting the apples for man. you gonna run in the brown sometime. I got to. Man. I gotta go see him yeah. play before he retired. Oh, yeah, for real, for real. Facts. Yo, man, what about football? Who you mess with football? The Eagles. Eagles, okay. I'm an okay. Eagle fan. Real okay. Eagle fan, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the Eagles since 04. Since they went to the Super Bowl. Feel okay. me? Yeah. I just hated the Patriots and they played and they, were, and they had a black quarterback. And I ain't like Michael Vick because everybody liked it. Michael Vick. Gotcha, I wanted man. my own shit, so I turned yeah. to the Eagle fan. So. Yeah. That's 04, I was what, 5, 6, the same yeah. shit, you feel me? I like yeah. start watching TV on my own yeah. and watching sports center. My dad yeah. big sport fan, so I'm watching all that. Like, I really got an old nigga mind for real, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, Fact. Gotcha, man. So, um, um, I'm, I'm a Cowboy fan. Everybody oh, man. Everybody get on me about that. I gotta leave. Yeah, Cowboy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, um, I'm gonna ask you this, man. Out of all your music, man, do you got a favorite song? Um. Nah, I, I like what everybody else like, for real. Yeah, yeah. Cause all of them are saying to me, it's like my yeah. kids, like if I had 50 kids, I don't yeah. take love one of them more than the other one. Oh, one of them may make me more money than the other yeah, one. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So I just like what people like. Yeah. I got a lot of songs though that I listen to just myself that I know they ain't gonna never drop though. Yeah. Cause I ain't uh, just gonna put them out. But it's just I, about that. I like, I like that Out the Roof song too. Facts. And I be paying attention, I pay attention to the people you use as your video directors. That was Switch. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was my homeboy that shot this shit, though. Bro. My, like, first friend, like, for real, like, yeah. 4K type shit. Like, know yeah. this nigga family type. Yeah. And we just reconnected now. Like, Ben, yeah. you feel me? Like, yeah. you know how it be like a nigga, you be like, yeah. oh, I grew up with Ben, for real. Like, or oh, shit happened, or oh, I go this way at 13, mm -hmm. you do start doing this shit. We yeah. feel me? But now it's like, backing each other. You know what I'm saying? Shit yeah. was dope. That's dope, man. It's, it's like good. they're really my friend, you feel yeah, me? Like, yeah, yeah. oh, anybody, they're yeah. my friend, you feel me? And that was a good look for him, because you know, he, he keep doing enough with you, ain't gonna tell him. That's what I'm like, telling him, hell yeah, nigga, yeah. pulling them, only you shoot yeah. some hard shit, too. Heck yeah, heck yeah. So it's good, man, you, you, you know, you, you're going to throw them alley hoops with people. I talk about alley yeah. hoops, man. I'm gonna give you alley, he's up, you the doctor. Hey, I'm gonna buy the lyrics, lemonade shit, taking pictures of that, too, Bro. you feel me? Hell yeah. Oh, so he don't want to take no pictures of you and stuff? Mm -hmm. Those are good pictures, man. Yeah, hell yeah, my boy got down, he on there. Get him out of the way, got down there. You could always say you got a bill for other people. Yeah. Got to take that shit. You yeah. feel me? You're right, you're right. You're you ain't right. doing right with a guy who take that shit. Yeah, you're right about that, man. Yeah, man. So, uh, what would you, what would you want to say to all the people that's out there looking at you and want to be the next, you know, you know, rapper that signed or something? What would you say? What would the advice you give them, man? Shit, if you good at it then, cause there's a lot of niggas that's doing it, I ain't trying to step on your joint. Everybody can't be Michael Jordan. Everybody yeah. ain't gonna make it to the NBA. Yeah. So if you do got that potential, you just gotta work, bro. Believe in yourself and just be serious about it. Cause it is kind of like your grandma don't say though, whatever put your mind to, you can do it. But motherfuckers really ain't put their mind to it. When you get on there and just do it, bro, something gonna happen. If you yeah. decent, or you gonna get better if you suck. Yeah. Just go in there and do that shit though. Just keep doing it every day. Like go rap. Like yeah. rap. Whatever you're gonna do, do it. You know what I'm saying? With everything. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. My last question to ask you, if you can recall with any female rapper right now, who would it be and why? Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Why my Nicki? Cause Nicki the GOAT. Nick right. like Nick the goat. Ain't it? Ain't it? Goat. She's the goat. She 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 took she Nick took or Cardi B because Cardi yeah. B got no hits. But other than that, I don't really like. I ain't gonna say I respect it because they doing their thing too. But it's yeah. like I don't I don't I ain't in their world. You feel me? I don't pay attention to them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I pay attention to the legends. I feel you, bro. Mm -hmm. But Nick Nick the goat man. Nick um, the goat like you do that. That's yeah. like you getting the biggest feature, damn. Near. Like yeah. she's a goat now. Like she's yeah. the goat of female rap. Yeah. 
Hey, it would be dope, man. I'm going to call it do a song together one day, man. I yeah, it would be that. hard. It would be, be break crazy, the internet, right? boy. Because you know Megan, she worked both of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, Caught to be in the hole near the lane, though. See, yeah. I can pat them to like... Uh, I don't know, cause Nikki get on her pop shit too though, but like Cardi B more like, 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 she just more cut though, like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. she just more raw with it, like, yeah. she gonna get on there and do song Nikki won't do. Yeah. She gonna get on here and talk about shit that Nikki ain't gonna yeah, talk yeah. about, you feel me? Yeah. This girl was really scripting, you feel like she yeah. really more trenched out. Yeah. And just further away, from, like she just not got off yeah. the block. You know what yeah. I'm saying? The streets, the streets, the streets, the streets like Cardi yeah, B yeah, and the industry. Very, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's on some shit like that. Cause you like, man, okay, she look good, she rap, it should be true. Mm -hmm. And Cardi B giving you different kind of hits. She ain't yeah. giving you straight this or that. She might give you some love shit. She might give you some freaky shit. Yeah. She might give you some shit. She do popping shit. Yeah. You feel me? And she ain't trying too hard to be no lyricist. That's yeah. why I fuck with her, and yeah. I respect nigga cause she is a lyricist. Exactly. Yep. And I be feeling like, man, whether it's a male, female, whoever at the top, you can like everybody. Ain't got to mm -hmm. Everybody do what they say, man. Love everybody. Ain't got to or none of that stuff. Yeah, man. they made it compelling. Oh, yeah. Well, I want to thank you, bro, for, for meeting up with me, man. And hey. spending time out your busy schedule to do the interview with me, man. Appreciate you. Oh, I appreciate you for having me. I'm ready for the shit to go up, man. Oh, yeah. That's definitely going to happen, bro. For sure, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Tell people how they can get in touch with you, bro. Shit, um, really like through the ground, you really get on, on the ground, speak to my manager Meg and shit, or if you just want to follow me, I don't be on the ground and Twitter if you want to follow Twitter, Big Bad Legend, B I G B A G L E G E N D 5, I think. I don't know. Y'all might check that, it's going to pop up, but yeah. Instagram, N G Y L, N G E E Y L. I don't be on Facebook. <laughs> nah, I don't be on Facebook. Facebook dangerous now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, bro. For sure.